This is Dr. Catherine Collins. I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. Hello there. Welcome to Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. My name is Ben, and I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this game. It's been a very long time coming, and if you know me, you know that I like to play almost all of the Chinese rooms and frictional games, games, very carefully and um, very observantly. And... Uh, I like to get a bit lost in the stories, and so um, that's what we're going to do here. And if, if you'd rather see someone scream, well, it's no screaming or anything like that in this game, but if you want to see someone play it through really quickly, then I'm sure there's loads of other people. I'd like to play it yeah, in its entirety and figure out as much of what's going on as possible. I know very little about this game, considering I've been keeping such a close eye on it, and I've been trying purposefully to stay a little bit detached from it. So um, I guess we start here. Astrological maps. Okay, wait, this is where we are. Yorton. That's the observatory. Upton Waters Lakeside. Alpton's Farm, Little Tipworth. Tipworth Forest. I'm assuming this is all accessible then. That'd be really good if it was. So. Um, let's start. I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, you should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. Mm. The answers are in the light. The answers are in the light. I can hear a phone ringing. I don't know where that is. Is that in here? Six one four one five one seven two five. Hmm. Okay, so let's take a look around. I can hear a phone ringing. I don't know where that's coming from. It's close wherever it is. Go down here. So it doesn't seem to be any move faster button, but I quite like that. Oh, it's a. This is a special sample. announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. 
Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. Right. So there's some sort of catastrophic event that's happened and although I did see on their uh, on Chinese Rooms Twitter them saying something about influenza which is interesting but um <coughs> not sure if that's true or not excuse me now that's I don't think we can move anywhere else at the moment I think this is fairly linear to start so there must be some sort of primary story agenda Ooh. Oh, I'm using I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. <laughs> just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? Mm. Stephen, I'm done. That's an American in Newton. This place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower Six. Kate, I love you. You know that, right? Yeah. I know that. Come on, let's get started. Mm, that was cool. So we seem to be seeing glimpses of some. Is this now dead? This thing? Yes. Right. Okay. I see. So you like literally like exhaust those little light flumes um, when they talk. Hmm. I don't think there's any other access into that area there yet. Now, I don't think this is the kind of game where you're looking around for kind of collectibles or easter eggs or anything like that. I think this is really just story driven and that interests me greatly. What did they say at the beginning? Listen to the light. Jeremy. going to be following Jeremy. Seems to be a village over there. Hmm. Where are you taking me, Jeremy? Do you want me to see this? That we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Bowden wandered off that way before they closed the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. Well, it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle in Shropshire. The world's gone <laughs> stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Bob, and I'll personally deliver it for you once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Bob. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Fucking headache all of a sudden. I like Dr. Wade and Bob. So far, they are by far my favorite. She's gonna write a letter to her MP. That's, uh, that's very cool. Right, we're gonna follow Jeremy though. So he wanted to take us that way to show us Dr. Wade and Bob apparently. So we're going to go back this way. Ah, this is what I've seen. This is about all I've seen, is this sign and this telephone box, if you may have seen the same things. It's almost iconic in my life now. Right, let's have a look what's going on here. Hello? Who's that? Hello? Kate, it's your you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. 
I'm going to call Clive back and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? What was that? So it, that's not in real time, by the way. We're hearing, um, I believe we're hearing the past being replayed to us. We are hearing the past being replayed to us. And um, there's some sort of disturbing force that is manipulating its way through specific areas, I guess. They wanted me to look over here, I think. That's another one of these little... I don't know what to call those. What does that say? Emergency meeting, everyone is welcome. Village hall tomorrow night at 7pm. Is it... Flu quarantine... What they're not telling... Us. Call Meg or Barb. If you have any questions, I love Barb. Where am I now? Okay, so it seems fairly linear because I started off down at the observatory and I've gone into Yorton now. So let's um, carry on. I thought I had another decision, but I didn't. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> oh, come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the numbers slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, Alignment you ran event. the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> I like that voiceover actor, whoever that is. Now, how much access do we have? Oh, do we? We do have... A lot of access, it seems. Um, I'm just going to have a quick wander about a few places to see what level of scrutiny I need to kind of um, push into this game because I don't feel like there is that much credence in kind of walking around like this when the story is the kind of vitally important thing. of high school <laughs> seeing Mars for the first time that same rush of excitement <laughs> my hands are shaking hmm. okay so some doors are locked oh we used to have one of these Land Rover Discoveries. Nice. It's really creepy actually this game because this looks like where I was born. Which is really, really odd. Stars at night. Closed until... We've got the flu. Please try the seventh person. We'll be back in business as soon as we're up and about. Hmm. Oh, it's open though. 
Ooh. What? Uh, I don't understand that. Current and pint, only two quid. That's pretty good to be fair. I mean. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Was there a phone in here? I just heard something. What did I just hear? No, I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'm trying to find the phone. I just heard a phone. No, I can't see it. Damn you. Oh no, it's outside, I think. Yes, it's outside. I can hear it somewhere. Let's continue forward. What does that say on that door? Hmm. Quarantine. Do not attempt to leave. You will be detained. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Please keep your radio on at all times for... So it seems like they really went back to kind of... Um, yes, I guess it's the same emergency drill we have now, which is radio. Still radio. Above internet and above everything. It's really weird. Feels wrong. The game looks mad though, I mean... Like this could be my house when I was like a kid. changing hmm. hello hello what oh, Amanda I thought you'd left town we tried <laughs> oh we did try, but they've closed all the roads and you can't get through. And and then Georgie and Ben said they had headaches, and then they started bleeding. And, but it was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around, and, um, and you know, we saw the house was open. And I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids and. And then Neil and I started bleeding as well. And it was all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed. And you know, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind as they're only children. And, and I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? That was six hours ago. He never came back down. It's a bit too frightened to go and look. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. <laughs> yeah. I think I could manage that, yes. Please help me. Of course I'll help you. Neil? Neil, are you there? Oh, that was horrible. 